So online right now, there's an entire debate going on about A2 milk, A1 milk for the past week or so. So I want to know from you what your stand on it is because you know a lot more about milk than I can imagine. So. Basically, the difference is the protein name. A2 is a protein. So A2 beta casein is the name of a protein. Right. And then there is A1 beta casein. Mm. So they're two different uh, proteins. So the I don't think the debate is about the proteins. So there's a difference in two proteins that these mm. two milk have. So A1 has A1 type of protein and A2 has A2 type of proteins. The debate is over the health claims. Mm. Whether, you know, A2 milk is better, it's easy to digest. In India, post-independence, there was, uh, you know, human population was growing. And then uh, they did this study where they said that India is going to be soon, is going to face uh, milk shortage because the number of cattle that we have is not enough mm. to looking at how the human population is all taking off. So what they said is rather than increasing the number of cows, mm. let's try and see if we can um, increase the yield of the cows. Yeah, European breeds hai, which have a higher yield, Holstein Frisian cows, hai, Jersey cows, hai, they have a higher yield. So why don't we get those cows in India and crossbreed them with our Indian breed? That kept happening and until India really became self-sufficient in uh, milk and dairy. And today we are one of the largest producers of milk in the whole world. Parallelly, there was this research that happened that started in New Zealand, mm. where they were specifically studying the proteins of milk, where I was uh, working at Fonterra Research Center. So one of the scientists who was uh, who pioneered this whole uh, A2 thing, I've worked directly, uh, you know, with him on certain projects. They realized after doing that research that there is this difference within these proteins. And if this is A2 type of protein, then this indigestion problem is kind of not happening. Or, you know, again, that is a debatable topic, but let's say that was the whole starting point. So they started genetically modifying these breeds. Now, originally these are the breeds who are giving A1 type of milk. Mm. So genetic modification happened and it's happening till date where they are converting all of their milk into A2. Okay. In India, we've not really done a lot of fundamental research. There was a separate study done where they looked at different breeds mm. that come from different parts of the world and what type of milk they're naturally giving. And that's when they realized that uh, all the indigenous breeds in India uh, which majorly have hump on them. They, they look different to European breeds. Mm -hmm. These particular breeds have a different body structure also and the protein that they're giving is majorly rich in A2 proteins. So the story in India is different as the story uh, all across the world, right? So in all across the world, this is all about A1 proteins and A2 proteins mm -hmm. and genetically modifying. So the story is only about A2 proteins all across the world. Now there is a different dimension when it comes to India. What happened in India was the study was done you were in India, there was a whole push around, you know, uh, vocal for local mm. and, um, you know, desi cheese. Mm. And this study was picked up because there was no fundamental research done right. So they picked up that desi, we were talking about the first time, that desi is good. In India, it is not only about A1 and A2 proteins, it is also about desi cow versus the European cow. Because we have naturally available, hai, right? Mm. This dimension is not there anywhere else in the world. It's, this dimension is only there in India. Because this research came, that's where it started getting established that there is a superiority of breed, uh, of Indi indigenous Indian breed as compared to European breed. There's a difference in protein structure. So, the debate, the debate, I don't think it's necessarily about uh, whether there is a difference in this milk or that milk, uh, between A1 milk and A2 milk. There's definitely a difference. And that difference is the proteins in these uh, milks. Now, the bigger question is what health claims uh, that A2 yeah. milk companies are claiming? whether they're right or not. So companies or let's say scientists somewhere associated to uh, the whole A2 milk story mm. have, uh, you know, they, there has been uh, equal number of studies, I would say, where they're saying A2 milk is different. Or because it is different, it also has a different health, uh, you know, uh, benefit. Mm. Whereas um, people who are associated with traditional traditional bigger dairy companies, they say A1, A2, there no difference. Mm. If you ask personally of what I think, See, there is no fundamental research again that has been done here. We have done a lot of literature review and we've found both sides of stories. Desi guy, the Indian breed, is different. Right? All of these Desi breeds have a hum. Mm. So when, when a breed looks different and it is established that breed has a different protein mm. coming out of it. So for, for me, there is a difference there.
I think it was for people who have protein indigestion. अगर दूध से हो रहा है and if they want to switch, for them A2 milk is a very good solution. मैं ये नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कि A1 milk खराब है या all of that, hmm. but सबको indigestion नहीं हो रहा है. It could be only few people who have that sort of an indigestion. If you have that sort of an indigestion, this is another option if you want to give it a go. There are a lot of customers. I mean, you know, we on daily basis we deliver to around more than twenty-five, thirty thousand customers, right? So we have a lot of customers who came up with the complaint that milk is not right. That's why we're switching the milk vendor. And uh, when we sample their made-to milk, right, they felt the difference in the first go, right? And they said that yeah, this question is a little bit high, so we will, you know, would like to continue with this milk. So there is a difference. There is definitely there is definitely a difference between A1 and A2. and like what said the said ki you know uh, protein indigestion ka jo issue hai to wo ho sakta hai and we have seen it first hand there are a lot of customers with us who have seen it first hand gimmick rehta hai ek saal rehta hai do saal rehta hai is new trend new fad that's coming uh, come into the market we have customers who's been buying it since 2017 now yeah. it's been sat sat 7 8 years they've been constant with this category and they're paying a premium to this the change that has come is it at a micro level as of now or is it at a macro level like as of today i still believe it's at at a larger picture if you look it's still a very micro level very very micro level it's an urban population that to a, a 4 or 5% of the population is kind of aware about this yeah, so the masses don't generally care the masses are not aware about it okay since uh, we used to handle customer care sales at the mm-hmm. right initial stages also and when we launched a2 milk Mm. when provilac launched a2 mil we actually wanted to be on customer care sales and understand what the requirement is so we did not create a demand for a2 mil we did not coin the term also yeah hum log we would like to try, uh, we would educating customers that this milk is from the desi breed we used to always want to correct them ki aap na wo a2 milk mat boliye aap usko desi ghee gaay ka doodh boliye ya aise boliye but they were i think people had done, done their own research and people wanted to try this because people would try something different only when there is a problem with that existing thing that they are right agar main apna network change karunga from idea to probably reliance probably somewhere i am not happy so hmm. i think there was a problem with milk what they were consuming hmm. probably they researched about it or probably someone recommended them ki you try this milk out and this is what will work for you hmm. which now we firmly believe because if it was fad right so what would have happened is they would have just tried it for a couple of months agar aap koi main cheez ko try karne bolu like for example whatever health reason you probably have a migraine or something if i tell you you take this sort of a diet and if it's not working you'll go back to your normal diet hmm. people did not go back so it's good 7 years they're still continuing with the same milk so this has definitely benefited them we do not probably have a document to prove that this is uh, work for them but we have people we have testimonies mm. so we have stories like that we have people who are constantly taking this milk on daily basis and if there is probably if they do not have milk left over they po- would probably wait for another day to order it from us but we would not go back to their regular milk what's the price difference like uh, i would say it's at least a 30 40% premium than uh, what the normal regular milk that you get over Like say from a sixty-five to a ninety. Sixty-five to a ninety. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, why is there that difference? Uh, so the difference basically, as I said, it comes from the breed itself, right? Now, breed is a low yield breed. Okay. Ah, uh, कम दूध देती है क्योंकि वो कम दूध देती है अन्ना खाना उतना ही जा रहा है maintenance उतना ही है उस breed का but क्योंकि दूध कम देती है तो price uh, is higher. Do you think that the price factor is the reason why the masses are not on it yet, or do you think it is just the awareness or not caring? Do you think the price factor does win at all? Ki whether they have the capacity to spend, and the second thing is whether they have the mindset to spend hmm. spend the money. Hmm. I probably would be making millions of dollars. I'm just saying, but if I don't have the mindset to spend the money, I'm just saying, but if I don't have the mindset to spend the money, I'm just saying, but if I don't have the mindset to spend the money, I'm just saying. Say about ten lakh rupees a year, but I want to actually nourish myself with the best nutrition which I can buy with that money, and I'll spend. Right. So this uh, say about a thirty rupees difference. It's again, if you see broader picture, then you see that it's not that much difference. Correct. But it's that decision. So I would say not everybody would be our customers. I'm fine with that. But there is a mindset of people which is changing, which people who want to have better nutrition, who understand nutrition, who want. 
to give their family members probably for themselves good nutrition they would probably take for granted it is very clearly at the same time urban cities we are talking yeah. about hmm. uh, maybe a 10% of the population of that urban city so on a india scale it's still quite a micro very much yeah and in a price sensitive market it will take time for either the disparity to become lower or i think even the entire awareness to flow and the price sensitivity would play a factor for a while till it does it yeah and that's what very personal uh, thought process on this is as a country we need to uh, you know we need to start looking at how to identify this milk to test this milk get into that fundamental research yeah. create a differentiation if the you know uh, i'm not again i'm not even talking about health claims here this is purely based on the uh, the protein structure these are two different milks so since there are two different proteins then why not label this as a different protein right once you label that as a different protein the you know um, all the indigenous breeds in india get an identity for themselves on a world level mm. it gives a superiority of the breed which is eventually going to uh, you know help our rural economy for the people who are breeding these particular cows mm. so i am a strong uh, advocate that ki try and find a rapid testing method which will help us identify you know there are methods available there but they take long and they are expensive methods 3 din 4 din lagte hain and milk is a perishable product aaj dood nikla kal consume ho gaya Hmm. So, if you want to, if we as a country want to proceed, you know, want to advance in this particular category, we should definitely look at कि इसको कैसे quickly हम लोग test कर सकते हैं, and then give a certification to that testing कि yes, this is A2 proteins hmm. or it has, you know, this particular milk is rich in A2 proteins, hmm. and then you know the the second stage or the next stage would be um, looking at the health benefits कि yeah. does it actually does it have health benefits or not? Let's start first identifying कि ये A1 है या ये A2 है. Correct. Perfect. I think I think that's a great note. <laughs> yeah. To uh, I probably not. It's not like we are ending any sort of myth here, but we we just like I think a lot of conversation should go to rest in terms of these are things that people are believing, and there's nothing. It's it's not like anyone's believing anything wrong, right? So. I, I think that can go on, right? We are a smaller company as compared to larger dairy organizations. Mm. And very early, we were able to get down uh, at the procurement level and segregate the breed. Mm. Now, the segregation of breeds at a large for a larger organization, I do not see it as a it as an impossible task. Mm. Uh, if the intent is there, uh, you know, all of India can benefit from this. Okay, thank you so much. We'll discuss that at length. Thank you, Vas. Thank you. But this has been great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.